All right, YouTube, Honey Up Cichlids back with another video. This video is day three of life in the fish keeper. So in this video, we're gonna, again, do some more water changes. Only in a couple tanks though today. But we're gonna go around and we're gonna pull some females. So I'll show you how I strip some fry. And uh, we'll put them in some breeder boxes or tumblers, depending on how big they are. So come along with me and let's do day three, life of a fish keeper. All right, like I said, we're gonna do some water changes and then pull some fry. So. We're gonna get the pump set up to do some water changes. So we're gonna grab our handy dandy pump that's hooked to the transfer pump over here. And we're gonna come around this side and uh, we're gonna drain some uh, the star sapphire tank and the, the protomelis uh, herte tank below it. So we're gonna get that situated. And then we're gonna come over here. We gotta turn the power off because we, we got back filters on there. I don't wanna we're going to filter, so we're going to come down here and shut the power off, which is going to kill some lights, because the lights are hooked to the same uh, surge protectors there. So we're going to do that. We're going to get our handy dandy little uh, remote out, and we're going to start draining these tanks. So let's go see what uh, females we can find and pull some fry while some tanks are draining. All right, while that's draining, we're going to find some females, but here's the... Uh, Quick shot of some males we have available here at Cunningham Cichlids. So we have nice bicolor 500s. Three males available. We have some, uh, there's a Ning nice Ningara male available. We have some uh, Lenacar Uethewanis. A couple male Autopharynx Lithobates. We have one uh, Lenacara Cananese or Blue Orchid left. One Lenacara Stuart Grantai Kobu. And we have a couple uh, Hapachromus Oxyrhynchus. And some albino sunshine and an albino eureka. A couple left. So here's some, uh, again, for those of you guys that want male tanks, here's some male peacocks and a couple haps. We also have two male bucochromus notatanias available too. So let's go find some females though. That's the point of the video to show you, show you what we do down here on a daily basis. So let's find some females to pull fry from. All right, like I said, we're going to pull some females. We've got a female nasty chromus. Uh, Prostoma gum that's holding. We're gonna go ahead and uh, catch her and strip her. We're gonna get some water out of the tank. We got a little bucket here. We're gonna put some water in. Grab a net. All right. Got me a net, and now we're gonna try and catch her. Alright, we got the female here. We're going to uh, I'm gonna tilt this so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put a little flusher here, we're gonna flush her mouth out and strip her. Here we got some, uh, you guys can see, got some heads and tails with some egg sacs. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get a tumbler and we'll put these guys in a tumbler and just tuck it up in the, the same breeding tank. Or maybe not, we don't have it. Scratch that. We're going to put it in a tumbler and put it in one of the fry tanks because I am missing I don't have an airline tap but I thought that I had up there available. So put these in a tumbler and see how they develop. All right, we put those in a tumbler. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab another uh, uh, Lithra Nocturne, Golden uh, Har Monkey Bay, or Golden Harbor. Um, we're gonna grab some fry from one of the females that's holding in here. We're just gonna get some water to put in this bucket again. And Try and find her. Maybe one isn't, we'll see. We're checking to see this is the one I think that is, but we'll check her and see. Let's see, we're gonna peel her mouth back a little bit. 
Let's see if I can pull her mouth back and look in there. Yep. She's got eggs in there, you can see. So we'll just go ahead and pull the eggs out. Now we need to put those eggs in the tumbler. All right, you can see here we got some eggs from the. Uh, you can see here the, the you can see here the Lithernop uh, Turning Golden Harbor gave us some eggs, so cut them out. So these will be going in the tumbler. The guards might want to get jiggy with it tonight too. This guy's on fire. He's I think he's looking to breed. I'll check him out. He just fired up open fins, everything a minute ago. So I think they're still shy, but. I think he's trying to breed, so maybe we'll get a get a female holding in this big old group here shortly. All right, so that's gonna that's gonna wrap up day three in the life of a fish keeper. We pulled some fry, got some uh, nasty chromis for stomach gums going there in the tumbler, and we gotta pull this one too here tomorrow. But we pulled some litter not turning golden harbors, but. I think I'm gonna find out is these eggs probably are not fertilized. They're they're more of a white than a yellow, so I probably should have thought she's holding a couple days. Maybe not. Probably should have let it be, but uh, we'll see if any of these turn out or not. I don't think they're gonna, but I'll update you and let you know. So if you like what I'm doing on my YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I put videos up. And uh, thanks for watching. Day three in the life of a fish keeper.